All right, Jerry's YouTube, one, one, take two. Oh, people are going to know that I didn't do it right the first, oh. Uh, this is something about We don't. Palettes. We don't even have a title, because I kept That's changing what, it. I just wrote it, something about palettes. Color, there's color, we have to say color, okay. Something about color. Everybody's palettes. already turned off the video. This video is in distress, and I'm going to tell you why. Because when I initially wrote out this idea, I had a very simple plan. That was to give you an idea of what should go into a palette of colors that are going to give you just the basics of what you need. And I even spent, you know, I got my little papers here, as you might have seen before where I take my notes. And the majority of this are a list of colors that tell you uh, a suggested palette. But I decided against this. I think this is wrong, and I'll tell you why. I had an experience where I went on Pinterest, and I saw that there was a, a post of a limited palette and a painting, a beautiful painting this person had done. And they said, I use cerulean blue, I use indigo, and I use raw sienna. And I thought, I'm going to try this. I got cerulean blue. I don't have indigo, and I don't have raw sienna. I have something that looks kind of like it. I had a yellow ochre. You know, it's me. So what did I do? I went to our store. Went to our store and I said, I'm going to get myself an indigo and a raw sienna. Got my indigo and I looked to the raw sienna and they didn't have the raw sienna. That never happens, by the way. We're always in stock. They just, they just hit it on me. I was forced to substitute that raw sienna for yellow ochre, the yellow ochre I had. And I realized something. It worked just fine. But I had this feeling like I had the wrong thing. And that's not true. The last thing I want you to feel is like you don't have what you need to get started. I don't want to give you color names per se, because if I tell you you need a yellow ochre and you got a raw sienna, I call it the opposite of my situation, I don't want you to feel like you can't get started. So when it comes to a starter's palette, it varies based on medium. And we're talking about a basic palette here, okay? We're not talking about a landscape palette, a portrait palette, a specialty palette. Basic colors. You've probably heard of the three primary colors. Olivia, what are they? I need you to say that because I got it wrong during the first cut. Red, blue, yellow. Red, red, blue, yellow, <laughs> right. And those colors will mix every color, but they're not going to give you necessarily every shade and the depth of every color. You're going to see I have six colors here instead of three. What I have here are warm tones and cool tones of the primaries. Why is that important? Because if you want to mix every tone out there, you need to be able to mix cool tones with cool tones and warm tones with warm tones. Let me just show you what I mean. So I've got my bright yellow here, and this is a, a, a cool yellow, and then I'm going to add a touch of this cool blue. Now I'm not using the color names, and I'm doing that on purpose because I want to tease you. No, because it doesn't matter. If everybody's all up in arms, I'll post something in the comments later if everybody's like, tell me some palette colors. That's not what you sound like. Now, what happens if I take the warm tones yellow and blue, okay? Okay. That is a different shade of green. I want everybody to look. Adam, tell me. I know that you always have to stand up and come over here and you don't want to. All right, let me bring it, let me bring it to Adam so he can see it. Is this, is that the same green? No. Olivia? That's definitely no. Ming? Okay. I just <laughs> knew. I've got a nice, you know, military green here and a very super bright um, Munchkinland green there. It represents the Lollipop Guild. If I was to add, let's see, let me, I'm going to add more blue. This is the same blue I used to mix this color. I'm going to try to get to that green. This is turning into some kind of Little Mermaid situation. I'm not mixing that green. If you watched our video on why can't I mix purple, you'll know that you won't be able to mix the color at all if you don't use the correct tones. A lot of you are thinking like, okay, well, if you can get every color with these six colors, why are there like 60, 80, 100, 493 color ranges in brands? First of all, like always, lazy! You don't want to mix a green, you can get it right out of the tube. Now you cannot mix for opacity. Now cadmium colors by nature are extremely opaque. I can mix a color that might look just like this cadmium red over here, but if I want it to cover something underneath, it's not going to have the same covering power. The other thing you can't mix for, well, certain colors. Like for example, I'd like to see somebody mix this out of the primaries. You can't do it. This is gold, okay? It's its own color. And lastly, you cannot mix for quality. If you are using a student grade paint, you might have a harder time um, getting all these tones, but uh, you will be able to do enough to get started. 
Another color I would say to add to a basic palette besides a warm tone and a cool tone for each of the primaries and white if you're using oil and acrylic is an earth tone. So, you know, any earth tone, burnt sienna, raw umber, they're a good item to have on hand just to bring colors down a little bit. Uh, also, it's important to remember that every medium is different. You're gonna find that a lot of times the color names, and we got, we got into that color names, don't translate, right? So in watercolor, you might use a ton of, I don't know, hookers green, but you're gonna have a hard time finding that as a, in a common oil color palette. These are my suggestions. I'm not using any color names here, okay? Cool tone and warm tone of each of the primaries, an earth tone, that should get you started on a basic palette. And I don't want you to feel like if I told you you need yellow ochre and you don't have yellow ochre, you have to wait to get started. You don't have the wrong thing. You have what you need. You have everything you need to get started. Pick your colors, pick your palette, and pick me on Instagram, at Mike Not Jerry. Things are getting kind of weird. I don't know, something weird is gonna happen, eventually. Yeah, okay. I, uh, uh, what the hell was that? <laughs>